Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. Let me start off with a quick introduction about Power BI. So what is Power BI? So guys, if you ask me what is Power BI, it's a great data visualization tool that is available in the market as of now. So if you are having problem in creating reports or taking better business decision, Power BI is the answer for you. So how does this tool works? Let me show it to you quickly in my next slide. So Power BI helps me to connect across various data sources. So if, if you want to export a data or if you want to import a data, let me rectify. If you want to import a data, we can simply import the data using an Excel extension, a text, a CSV file, a access database, even Google Analytics and Facebook data can also be imported with the help of this tool. Moving on with the next one, after we import the data, the major task is to analyze the data. So using the Power Query editor, we can simply analyze this data and get it in a structure format. All right. After that, what is our next job is to create visualization. So with this analysis, I can create various kind of visualization that we'll be seeing in our video series. After that, after the visualization that we have created, what comes next is sharing the report. So the visualization that we have created, there is a need of sharing this visualization across your organization or across your clients as well. So Power BI gives me a unique feature where I can publish this report onto the web so that sharing becomes a easier task. All right, guys. So let me take you to the topics that we'll be going through in this video series. We'll be starting off with how to connect to a database in this particular scenario. After connecting to the database, we'll be applying some basic transformation to it. All right, guys. After that, my next topic will be about how to create calculated columns using the DAX expression. This will be our third topic. Moving on, we'll be also talking about the time intelligence. Then we will be looking across different visualization, visualization like the waterfall map, the tree map, the gauge card and the KPI indicator as well. After this, we'll be talking about how to take this report and publish it on the web as well. All right. So we'll be discussing how to publish this report on the web and what are the different options along with it. After we publish this report onto the web, our next task is to build the dashboards. So we will be starting building different kind of dashboards. What are the options that we have? What are the different settings that we have under dashboard? We'll be looking upon that. Then my next topic will be about how to create content pack and we'll be learning what is content pack, what is the usage of this content pack in the video series in the upcoming videos. All right. And the last but not the least, I'll be also talking about the row level security. So how to secure your data, how to keep your data safe over the Internet. We'll be talking about that in the video series. So guys, these are the list of the topics that we'll be discussing and there will be much more detail. Uh, expression and there will be much more detailed information about it in our upcoming videos. See you until next time.